Hey guys, so we're back for part two now of setting up the drone wolf pup. This time we're going to be going through what I do in clean flight, how to set everything up uh, to what I have my settings for. Yours might be a little bit different and then I'm going to go out for a flight and see how everything goes. So the first thing that I always do when I set up a new uh, board or anything or should I say a new uh, quad in clean flight is my board alignment. I do move it over to the left 90 degrees so I need to get that uh, taken care of. What I do is I go into my configuration tab right here where it says board and sensor alignment. I change that to 90 and that's going to be in the yaw degrees portion on the bottom. Hit save and reboot. When it says ready, go back to setup, and you can see forward is forward, back is back, everything's set up correctly. From there, now that I know everything's set up correctly, I could go ahead and disable my gyro and accelerometer and the barometer up top here. I'm not gonna really ever need those um, for what I'm doing, so uh, it allows a little bit better processing speed and everything, having them shut off, it does, the board doesn't have to use as much uh, information going back and forth. So I enter the CLI tab on the bottom. A lot of you might know, already know um, a lot about that, but I'll go over just what I do uh, inside this. It's pretty simple. You can hit set um, to see everything that's already in the uh, board. That's how, it, how the settings are. And what I do is I will go through here first all Go from the bottom and uh, barometer hardware. You could grab that one right here. Type in set, borrow hardware to one, and that'll be turning off the barometer. Um, ACC hardware would be the next one. Same thing, set your ACC hardware to one. That'll shut off the gyro and the accelerometer. And since I'm using Betaflight uh, 2.3, uh, I need to set the uh, L was it LPF, whatever uh, gyro LPF. I need to set that, turn that off there. So with all those uh, turned off. Uh, basically that's all the settings I really do. Uh, I do um, change my dead band here and I'll do that right now and I'll explain it to you guys later what I use that for on the uh, receiver tab. But basically I just set the uh, yaw dead band to 8. Uh, everybody has it kind of different. That's just where I put mine at. Your stuff might not be the same obviously and just a dead band to 8 as well and then always type in save to save all these settings and it'll reboot. After you rebooted you can see now I'm, move, I mean, I'm moving my quad off the screen and nothing's moving everything's off now the gyro, accelerometer and the barometer. Next I go into the ports tab and on my UART3 is where I have my S bus set up for serial RX I turn that on, save and reboot. Then I go into my configuration tab. Here, um, minimal throttle I set to 1080, um, maximum throttle 2000. I go down to receiver mode. I put in RX serial because I'm going to be using the S bus, so I set that up. Set S bus up here. Um, you can see that uh, I'm down to 500 um, for my loop time. That was changed by the uh, gyro LPF. And I don't use black box, so I just uncheck that. And I hit save and reboot. Um, next, I go into PID tuning. So for PID tuning, it, it's going to be different for everybody, but I'm just going to put. Um, basically the values that, that I feel are, are pretty good and uh, the 4.2, 5.4 actually for the drone with pups pretty good but 
I do switch my eye down to about 38 and 36 for roll and pitch. I found that to be pretty good. And my D's, I actually go up to 25 on this one. 21. And I leave this one here at five. And I'm so far that's working pretty good for me. I haven't had too much trouble changing anything around, but I mean, it, it all changes. I, I play with them all the time, so don't exactly go by them. Um, but it could be a good just base if you're using this frame and same motor setup. Um, roll pitch and yaw rates, 86, 86, 97. I don't use any TPA, and this is on the multi Wii uh, rewrite the PID1 controller. Uh, hit save, save everything there. Um, so what I'm talking about with uh, setting my dead bands in CLI, when I told you I'd get to the receiver tab, is usually when these are on with the controller, these are kind of bouncing around and everything, and that's um, basically your dead band setting that takes out the movement of the input of like what you see bouncing around um, you know to your receiver so that's that's what that pretty much does on um, the CLI command so in this tab the uh, only things I really change here is my RC rate I move those over to 1.10 my RC Expo goes down to 0.68 and yaw expo I leave at point two zero. I find that to be all right. Hit save. Now we go to the modes tab. Um, I do have an arm switch that I set up. I just put it over here towards the end and I run air mode. And I pretty much just leave that centered here. Um, hit save. That's about it. I mean, it puts me in air mode and, and arms it so that way I have it on a three position switch, um, which is my auxiliary switch one. Everything else, uh, I don't use any of these. You know, every, everything going down. Uh, motors, if I want to check anything, I guess. I, I don't use it too much, but that's pretty much my whole setup that I do here in Clean Flight. If you have any questions about anything, I might have missed or not covered for you just leave it in the comments below and we'll get out to doing a flight thanks all right we're out here getting ready to do the maiden flight now with the drone wolf pup after doing everything in clean flight we'll fly it around and see how it goes and if we need to make any changes we will um, but if everything's fine we'll just leave it as is Didn't quite stick the landing, but looks like all the settings and everything else are alright. 
So I think we're good to go.